Greetings, Daniel Preseto for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're looking at wet brush effects using the styles panel here inside Photoshop. It's just a simple effect with some settings of bevel emboss stroke, inner shadow, and inner glow. And as I press harder on my Intuos Wacom tablet, Intuos 4 is actually the one I'm using here. You can see it becomes more opaque. And if I just push things around, I'm using a brush by Kyle T. Webster which is a wonderful wet and wild brush. If I don't use this effects, it looks kind of like this. Similar effects, you can see how I, I let go. It kind of pushes the water around. It's a beautiful, beautiful brush. And back to the layer effects, these have been around forever. So you can go back pretty far and have this effect in Photoshop, uh, maybe even as far as 10, 15 years. Um, that's not how long Kyle's brush has been around, but that's okay. You can still experiment with your own. You can try different things. Here's a grass brush. There are all kinds of great effects. Um, you can get with this, as you can see. Now, if I take a closer look, you guys can take a snapshot if you want to try this out. Here's my bevel and boss settings. Nothing particularly um, uh, experimental in here. Um, contour, just 50% there. Stroke, outside normal, 100%, three, all that kind of cool stuff. Inner glow, was that too fast? All will go slower, inner glow. And you can change the color there. I have kind of a yellow tint there. I can't remember the reason why I did that, but I'm sure there was a spectacular reason. I'll go back here. I might have gone too fast there. You can change all the directions. Let's go down and you can see the effect here. Really cool, really cool. So give this a shot. Try it out. Share it in your libraries panel if you want. Collaborate with your friends on it. Modify it. Share it. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to leave them on the channel. And thank you for watching.